Oh my gosh, we're here at Oshkosh. Hey, if you saw this booth, we saw a, a big trash compactor car. We saw a fire truck over here. Two very different types of vehicles. Yes. We know on the CS floor, we see a lot of different mobility, but for a lot of people that are at home, you know, who is Oshkosh that may not know or think of them when it comes to these vehicles they've seen every day? First of all, thank you for the opportunity to yes, speak to you. Yes, of course. And so Oshkosh is an industrial technology company, right? Uh, we've been around since 1917. We purpose design, purpose build vehicles for our everyday heroes. You talked about the fire truck. Firefighters have a very difficult job. Right behind me is um, a refuse and a recycling collection vehicle. Oh, not see, a, that's the proper name. We, we that's don't not, call it a garbage. Not a dumpster truck or garbage. No, no, it's a refuse, refuse and re re recycling collection vehicle. See, I'll let right? her say that a bunch of times. So we apply electrification, AI, autonomy, uh, connected solutions to make their life easier, to make it safer, make it more productive, um, and to really transform the end market. This is the place to be. We are really excited to be here for the first time, so couldn't be happier with this thing. Now, as the Chief Technology Officer, we know that when you talk about these different everyday heroes, there's probably technology that is specific to these vehicles depending on the role. So when I walked around, I noticed there was some sort of a camera system on the fire yep. truck. Can you talk about some of this actual technology specific to some of these vehicles? Yeah, so technology, you, you are correct. Technology has to serve a purpose, mm -hmm. right? You don't just do technology for the sake of a technology. Behind me is a refuse recycling vehicle. This is a fully electric vehicle. We are launching it for the first time here at CES. And um, this is purpose designed. Uh, if you just look at the ergonomics of the vehicle, Fire, you know, people that work in these segments get in and out of the vehicle, you know, they actually do 24,000 steps a day <laughs> in, their, in their day You charge. might do that in one day at CES. Charging it one time, they can do the entire daily mission of it. It has all the safety features, like 360 cameras, collision avoidance systems, things that you see in your personal vehicles are all in this vehicle as well. That's a fire truck you see. It is an electrified fire truck. It has to look and feel like a fire truck but it has to provide the value of the electrification in terms of being quiet, being able to pump better because of the fully electric pumping capabilities, no emissions because it's fully electric, no carcinogens when you are actually running the vehicles in there in a firehouse. So those are all the benefits that you see. What we do is we actually deploy the vehicles at the customer's hands, even before it's in production. So we get some experience of how these vehicles perform out there. At the back of the vehicle, you see something called Collision Avoidance Mitigation System, or CAMS. Because of the you know, sensors and AI technology, with cameras, it actually predicts the oncoming traffic and its trajectory, wow. and gives, you, gives them a three, three second warning to get out of the way if they see the oncoming traffic. Which, which someone at home might initially think three seconds, that's not much, but really that's the difference between potentially life and death. Absolutely. Because whether you're bracing for an impact or maybe yep. somehow just jumping out of the way or getting yep. close to the vehicle, that makes a difference. So what you see here is uh, really AI in action, right? Um, this is the cutaway of our side-loading refuse collection vehicle. Today what happens is the, they drive the vehicle, they uh, get somewhere closer to where the bin is, they have to look in the rearview mirror and figure out can, are they exactly there or not, use the joystick and then deploy the arm and then grab it. The whole process is, is, is complex. Very man It sounds very manual. Manual and, and takes time. Yes. It takes them a few years to get really good at it. So this technology, what happens is that because cameras, AI, and sensors and LiDAR, it actually detects that there's a can. It identifies and locates the can, know where the can is. Deploys the arm exactly to that location, grabs it, and then, and then you know, empties it out. So that's a huge, with the push of a button. Yeah. You don't need to use a joystick, you don't need to do anything else with the push of a button. This is fully electric. It's several seconds faster than what a hydraulic system can do. We believe what an entire day, oh, we have yeah. several thousand of these pickups that they do. It's almost an hour worth of time saving that they have by, by technology like this. Last but not least, you, what you see on the screen here is a Waste stream detection, right? With this device would have a camera system that actually identifies and informs the the drivers of what is in their in their waste stream. Right? It has two things: is they know they know what to do, how depending on how contaminated it is, or they can even inform the consumer saying, "Hey, you mixed, put batteries in the refuse. Don't do that again next time." They do recycling. So these would, these would be like game changers for this industry, and we're really excited about what this can do. What I think is really amazing here is. There's a lot of people at home that see these vehicles yeah. every day, yeah. but 
I didn't even realize until I came here just how much more technology is either in them right now, yep. coming soon, yep. or coming in the future. Today we live in a technology on-demand world, right? Uh, and everything is on your, at your fingertips. So this is an on-demand hailable refuse collection vehicle. On your phone app, you can actually hail this to come to your house. You can deposit whatever you're trying to throw away in there. Also, it's smart. It actually yeah. learns your habits of mm -hmm. uh, what you do. Mm -hmm. And then it optimizes its own route planning, how it needs to come to, us, come to, come to your house. Uh, all of that, then all the refuse can go to one location where the big truck can come and pick it up. Can I throw, put some trash in it right now? Yes. This suit is tight, but let's give it a shot, okay? Oh, oh, there we go. What would you say the big picture of what, you know, Oshkosh's mission is and just, you know, being here at CS for the first time, what yeah. do you really want to showcase? We apply technology, electrification, autonomy, AI, connected solutions to make the jobs more productive, safer and more efficient for our customers. So that's that's the common theme. Really, really thrilled to be at CES nice. and showcasing who we are. All right, well, thank you, Jay. Appreciate you so your time much. here. Yeah. And uh, check out Oshkosh's booth. I mean, this is really cool, fun stuff. Awesome, thank right, you. Thank you. Thank you.